Hi guys, it's me, Melanie, Melanie Sure, on my usual bike ride. I want you to think about this sentence. I'm gonna get right into it. We are not flesh and blood beings having a spiritual experience, but spiritual beings having a flesh and blood experience. Now, a lot of people live as if we are just flesh and blood beings having a spiritual going on a spiritual journey for those people who take the time and dig deeper um, into life meaning and and why they are here um, then they consider that a spiritual journey but first and foremost we are actually spiritual beings we might come out of our mother's womb as flesh and blood beings but in the Bible it says that God made us in his image what does this mean it means that God is spirit and we are also spirit as well. Just so happens that in this current plane of existence that's wrapped around us is uh, flesh and blood and bones. And unfortunately too many people live as if that's all we are. It's just the lo they understand life as what we know it now on this plane of existence and they don't see that there's anything after but the Bible tells us this is basically only a testing ground this is where our eternal uh, destination rests is in how we live our life here is the quality of our life here what's going on in our life here and if we just live for the flesh feeding the needs of the flesh um, you know just eat drink and be merry you know work have sex you know doing whatever you want to do you know no consequences um, you know leading basically a sinful life um, now there's nothing wrong with um, you know appreciating the blessings in life the joys in life the pleasures in life but if you're doing it within um, a, a, a sinful realm you know outside of God's Word then that's not good then it is gonna affect your spiritual destination you can't in the Bible it says that uh, what we sow we will also reap and that God will not be mocked and so we can't expect to sow seeds of let's just say um, apples and expect to uh, reap zucchinis <laughs> you know you if you sow seeds of discord and you know not getting along with other people nastiness mean-spiritedness um, you know disruption you know you know you're just you're not a good person you know you're you're spreading seeds of you know violence murder stealing you know whatever just negative seeds you're spreading those out then don't expect to reap God's blessings his wonderful awesome blessings that's not what's going to happen um, and it's also going to affect your spiritual destination and I do believe that there is more um, after this life this is only a testing ground and the Bible refers to this life as just a blink of an eye that's how quick it is this life that we know we hold on to so tightly um, and we tend to just live for this life it's just a blink of an eye. Think of how quick that is. Blink your eye, how quick. Compared to an eternity with God, there will be a new heaven and a new earth. There will be um, a judgment day, whether or not we want to believe that. It might sound far-fetched to some people, but um, I truly do believe this, and I am not an unintelligent person. I've done my you know, biblical research, and when you hear truth, it just, resonates it rings of truth you just know in your heart that this is the truth and if I'm wrong if I'm wrong what will I lose out on well it just means I lived a life of trying to be conscious about what I'm doing doesn't mean I've been perfect but I've tried I've tried to walk a straight and narrow path and when I've wavered from that path I've dusted off my pants and gotten back on that path again it's not about perfection about it's about you know doing your best you know just being aware that God is real and that we are going to answer him that we do answer to him and that we are going to answer to him he's gonna judge us all so we can't live 
just for the flesh and blood, just for, you know, like I said, eat, drink, and be merry. There is more. There is going to be a new heaven and a new earth for believers. That is our reward. That is why we do what we do. Um, why we try to walk that straight and narrow path. And again, it doesn't mean we're perfect because, you know, there's been televangelists, big Christians who have fallen. Well, guess what? We're human. We are human. I've fallen and I've gotten back up. You know, that's that's life. You know, it, well, at least it's better than somebody who doesn't make the attempt at all. You know, we're all human. All right, guys just want you to consider that today that we are spiritual beings on a flesh and blood journey and keep that idea close to your heart and sow seeds of love and peace politeness you know just be a light be a light and light will come back to you spread good seeds and good seeds will come back to you all right guys have a great day peace out